YouTube, this is Sid from Ninja I Choose You, and um, I'm going to do a little uh, video on my picture for a competition. Me, um, Matt, Caleb, and Bray. We are drawing our favorite villain from Batman, and um, yeah, and we are going to let our viewers vote on who is the best. So I decided to do the uh, Riddler, and um, I'm going to go into a little bit of depth on my character. So all this is black and everything, but the border of the picture is right about here. And this is, this whole background right here is oil pastel, and this is where I smudged it to, uh, to give this uh, figure a more glowing look to it. So, uh, I used a little bit of reference for his, uh, trench coat and his tie and his, um, undershirt. Everything else is basically freehand. But, yeah. So, I sketched this all out with a mechanical pencil. Um, and once I did the head, I actually inked the head and then I went on with the body. The head, drawing it and inking it probably took me about um, maybe in, uh, 30 minutes. And to sketch out the rest of the body took me about an hour because this arm was giving me a little bit of trouble because it was, uh, the proportions were kind of weird. But uh, in the end everything just tied together. Um, so inking the whole picture took me about 2 hours total. Um, what took me the longest was the background, which took me like two hours and a half, which I did uh, yesterday. The day before yesterday is when I did the body. And then, um, do the shading right here, I just did some simple uh, cross hatching and stuff like that to uh, get the shading with the ink down. This is all just, um, I used a super fine point sharpie, which I find very useful because it can do um, thin lines, it can do uh, medium sized lines, and it can cover a good deal of uh, area despite being pretty uh, thin. So, um, yeah. So, the oil pastel definitely took me the longest. And, um, yeah, I just smudged it with my finger. With my fingers, which are still pretty dirty. Uh, just, and I stopped to make an outline around it. Um, this is a cube in his hand. I don't, I just, uh, you know, it looks like a puzzle of some sort or something like that. Here's the staff. I was thinking about doing the, uh, staff with the question mark at the top, but I decided not to. And, uh, this shadow right here is supposed to be Batman. Here's his head, and where his cape comes down. And I just did that with him before. And, here's his trench coat. Going all the way down. I, uh, put that question mark in there. It wasn't in the reference picture, but I put that in there. And then the Riddler down here, every other one darkened in. So, uh, yeah, I thought this was a pretty good drawing to start off this summer. And there will be more to come, which I will definitely do video reviews on. And I messed up a little bit on this blog right here. It's mad. I was going, I was thinking about doing this cool suit right here, green, and just leaving everything else black and white, because I thought it would give it a unique look, but um, I decided not to make fear of screwing up the picture. So uh, I went for a more modern looking Riddler, um, more sophisticated rather than uh, crazy looking. Um, right here, we'll be zooming out on it. The uh, shadow right here that comes on his face and down his neck is supposed to be a gargoyle, partially. It comes right here. It's something like a gargoyle. But 
yeah, this is my picture for the competition. Uh, vote for me if you like it. If you don't, then vote for somebody else. But anyway, I will be back with, uh, with more, and we will definitely do more competitions like this. So, uh, stay tuned to Ninja Ice Review, and there will be more epic artwork to come.